You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen But do you recall The most famous reindeer of all Just. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer game Hello quilters, it's Reindeer Games again and it's Lianne back with a new sidekick. Hello, welcome to Reindeer Games <laughs> and Studio 180 Day, which is very exciting. Lianne's and favorite day. It is, and so Marilyn agreed to come and help me chat it all up. There's some of these things that she's used and some of them might be new to her as well as to you guys. So there's lots to share on our Reindeer Games for the things that we're chatting about today. And anybody who knows me through Quilter's Cupboard knows how much I love all the Studio 180 rulers and what they do for my piecing. And that's what I share in teaching through classes and anybody I can get my hands on to talk to about it. <laughs> so today you're it. <laughs> so we have some rulers that are specific to Lemoyne Star. That's kind of exciting. The Rapid Fire Lemoyne Star Ruler, there we go, Vanna is showing it to you, was the very first Studio 180 tool that I tried. Huh. Nothing like jumping right off the deep end, that's yeah. me, sink or swim, I'm just going to go for it, <laughs> and been in love with the stuff ever since. Yeah. And there are so many things that you can do with that one tool. It is and, a really good one. I've used the Lemoyne Star one for quite a few things. I've made yeah. Christmas tree skirts and table runners and little blocks to put into Christmas stockings, all uh -huh. kinds of things. And the ruler, and we'll talk about the technique sheet, mm -hmm. enables you to do them in any size. Yep. And then there are all kinds of variations too. Yeah, it's lovely how many different sizes are available yeah. using the same tool. You don't need multiples of the tool to get different sizes. You're just using different lines on the tool. Yeah, that's right. So that helps a lot to know that it's versatile that way, as well as all the different technique sheets that you can create very different looking kinds of Lemoyne Star blocks, mm -hmm. working them into quilts with just that style of gussied up block or doing a sampler, that kind of thing. Yeah. There's a lot of different ones that you can create. And something new for Quilter's Cupboard is we have created a Lemoyne Star Virtual Academy program. Mm. And that's part of what you'll see for today as well. I came in and made a separate video for all of the different Lemoyne Star techniques that you can wow. create very different looking kinds of blocks. And mine will be put together into a sampler quilt, but I walked through all the different ones right from the cutting, the sewing, the trimming, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be very cool for everyone to see if you really want to deep dive into Lemoyne Star and especially if you're not local to Quilters Cupboard to be able to yeah, come in for a class. Anywhere, yeah. Exactly. That kind of thing is available to you for a, as long as you want, as many times as you want and really get to see them all. It's a great resource. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see how well that goes over for everybody, but I hope you all give it a chance and enjoy taking a virtual class. <laughs> so there's, um, we can look at the different uh, technique sheets. There are a few of them. We're not going to go in depth into them, etc. But when you get a technique sheet for working in conjunction with the ruler, there's always a chart on here for different sizes of what you're cutting to make the different sizes that are available for the end result. Yeah, everything from a little four inch 
right up to a 12, to a 12 inch. inch. Yeah. There's very good instructions, pictorial and written, and right and left-handed information, mm -hmm. and a block idea. So it shows you what the block is that you're making. So if it's a banded one, you've got a banding strip, strip for contrast that goes all the way around it. The blazing is one of my very favorites because it's got diamonds within the diamond shape. And again, a chart for, in this case, you can go all the way up to a 24 inch finished wow. block, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. You're doubling the size of the lines on the ruler. Like a few 24 inch squares, <laughs> you've got a quilt pretty Yes, quickly. you do, exactly. <laughs> Lemoines as triangles, and then you can make basket blocks and half um, different colors, kind of like a log cabin with your negative um, dark and light juxtaposition, that kind of thing. Fussy cutting using the top end of the ruler. Oh my. That's a very cool effect if you've got a cardinal that you want to fussy cut. Mm -hmm. Or if you're making an eye spy quilt. Or a kaleidoscope kind of block where you want the same thing to spin all the way around. Wow. That's utilizing not only the pointy end of the ruler, but also the top end of yep. the ruler. Use every part of it. You paid for the whole thing, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> the Liberty Lemoyne is very cool with strip Stripes. sets. Mm -hmm creating a stripe kind of look. The Starburst Lemoyne has a split across the center of each of those diamonds. Mm. Creates another very different yeah, kind makes of it look. look. Very circular. It does. It gives it a, a curving kind of effect mm -hmm. to it. This was the newest uh, technique sheet that she made for the Lemoyne Star Ruler. The strip piece is similar to the Liberty, but looks a little bit different. And you can use your strip pieced uh, components in a different kind of fashion. So all of those are the different Lemoyne star related technique sheets, and they're all part of what we're showing today, along with some other notiony kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And they're equally invaluable with Lots everything great, Studio great 180 tools related. For Studio 180 quilts or any quilting mm -hmm. that you're doing, these mm -hmm. are great ideas. You want to talk about the, yeah. the notions? I think so, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll start with Invisigrip, which is a great product. If you don't have the quilter select rulers, which we highly recommend. <laughs> we do. <laughs> because they, they don't move. But if you want to turn your other type of ruler into a ruler that really sticks to where you put it down, the Invisigroup is great. It comes in a sheet. You cut it to size, put it on the back of your ruler, and it really gives it a good grip. Yeah, it doesn't leave any kind of residue on your ruler. It's just mm -hmm. an, a little cling. Mm -hmm. And then you put it on the back. And when you put pressure from your hands down on it, it yeah, really it helps to stop it stays, from slipping. Yeah. And the it also means you don't have to, it's not as much force yes. for your hands too. So if you have any arthritis or yeah. stiffness in your hands, it's You're very not, helpful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The pretty colored different uh, Quilter's Magic Wand. This ruler is exactly half an inch wide. It's got a laser line that's right down the middle. And it's great for when you have to mark seams that are a quarter of an inch away from the center of, you know, a, a a block that you're marking for half square triangles or anything mm -hmm. corner to corner or if you are marking some lines and you're going to be trimming away a corner and so you want to do a second um, stitching line and give yourself a half square triangle or whatever mm -hmm. the shape may be already stone then you can use that to mark exactly half an inch away that kind of thing a of there's uses. a lot mm -hmm. of different patterns that that comes in very handy mm -hmm. for including lots through studio 180 design Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we have the sewing edge tape and this is great for putting on the bed of your sewing machine mm -hmm. and it gives you a guide so if you have trouble with your seams so that they go a little wobbly <laughs> and I'm not saying that you're drinking too much wine when you're sewing. <laughs> Um, if you put that on your machine, it just gives you a nice smooth guide to uh, yes, run your it, pieces. Yes, it does. Through. I'm always just guiding my fabric right up to the edge of that, and mm -hmm. then it stays right in the right position on the edge of my foot. 
I don't have an edge along the edge of my presser foot. I find sometimes they can move a little bit, mm -hmm. whereas this is just, it's always in the same spot. It's got a really good stick to it. It's got an adhesive on it, so it stays in position on the bed of your machine. This is not designed to go on top of your rulers at all because no. it will leave a little bit of a sticky on your ruler, but it works really, really well. And there is a free uh, video on Marcy Baker's site for showing how to line it up no. on your machine. To get it just that yeah. perfect a quarter of an inch. Exactly, yeah. and every machine is different, so you need to oh, line yeah. it up spot on with your foot, your needle position, Mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing is the glow line tape here and this is great for sharing with friends because there's three different okay. colors in there and they come in a quarter of an inch wide and each one of those is a little roll of tape that you can peel it off and it works really well for highlighting lines on your technique sheet mm -hmm. if you want to, to be able to see yeah. which size you're actually making. And you can see right through it yep. too. Yeah. So when you've got a chart with multiple numbers, this is the old adage of measure twice, cut once. Mm -hmm. How about we look at the numbers twice and cut once? Otherwise it's an oops and it goes in another yeah. project. So basically <laughs> this is just like being able to run a highlighter on yeah. your laminated chart. It works just as well on regular paper. It comes off, it doesn't leave oh, any kind of residue on paper either. Works really well for that as well. And I like it on rulers as well to help to highlight lines that I'm looking for. And I've actually played around with whether or not I prefer to put the tape on the top or on the bottom. And I've discovered that this stuff is very thin. It doesn't take up a lot of height, but it highlights the line better when you've got the tape on the bottom. You can see the lines on your oh, ruler you know. and you're not hiding when that's sitting over top of your stitching line or the very edge of your fabric. It's not hiding that at all, but it really highlights the lines that you're looking for when you want to be trimming around the edge of something or across the seam, etc. Works really well for that. Perfect. I like it a lot. Um, what other kind of notions have we got there, Miss Marilyn? Uh, well, we have our uh, <laughs> our gypsy uh, quilter clappers. Yep. This is the large, 11 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. And there's a small version, which is 7.75. 7 and 3 Seven quarters. 7 and 3 quarters. Interesting measurement. <laughs> I know. Um, and... You're a great fan of these. I really love the Taylor's mm. Clapper. They came into the quilting world a while ago, and um, I have an older style of one right from my home ec days. Where I'm not telling you how long ago that was, anybody, but it so long ago is. that I did sewing in home ec class. Yeah. <laughs> but they Those are the so great for helping to flatten down your seam. Yeah. You put it right over top of your freshly pressed seam, and it helps to, the wood draws the heat and the moisture out. If you use steam mm -hmm. as well in your iron, draws the heat and the moisture out of your fabric and flattens it down that much more. Helps the seams from creeping back up again. And if you're you're going to put a ruler on top of something and trim it again you want all your seams as flat as possible yes, no little pleats exactly yeah, all nice of these flat. different kinds of things are part of the steps mm -hmm. of what I'm looking for yeah and you end up much happier with the end results <laughs> uh -huh. yes. there's a couple of patterns too that we are offering that work nicely with the Lemoyne star ruler and we've got sugar and spice that one's really sweet. Those are a lot of Lemoyne stars, which yes. are very easy to do with the Lemoyne star ruler. <laughs> and this one is crown jewels. Yep. And easy to make bigger if you want. I had a lady that did four of those, treated oh. it like that was one quarter of the block and had a really good sized bed um, quilt that out of it. Beautiful. It was, yeah. it was, it was a really nice effect. This one also would be great for if you wanted to change up some of the Lemoines and put in some of the fancy ones that you've done with your technique mm. sheets. This could be a sampler setting yeah. for any of those gussied up Lemoines. There's two other patterns that we don't have actual copies here but you'll get to see a picture of them popped up on the screen and um, pop stars and sea breeze 
and sea breeze is a really good size bed size quilt as well mm -hmm. and pop stars is easy to make bigger or smaller yeah they're all very adaptable aren't exactly they? Yeah. exactly and they showcase the lemoines very nicely yes. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> There's a couple of other rulers that we like to recommend with your Lemoyne star, as does Deb Tucker. And they would be the um, the Tucker trimmer I was actually going to mention first okay. because we okay. want them for trimming down our Lemoyne star blocks after we've made them. Tucker trimmer one goes from one inch trimming to seven inch trimming in whole and half inch increments. And obviously not just for Lemoyne stars, they're great for yeah, half square triangles, block, yeah. quarter square triangles, fussy cutting different kinds of things, etc. Combination units. There's great instructions included with every ruler, isn't there? Oh yeah, lots of, like, yeah. you don't have to have all the technique sheets. If you want to just make the basic Lemoyne star or what the the instructions are yes. great that come with each yeah. ruler. Yeah. yeah, and lots more ideas beyond just working with Lemoyne stars. Mm -hmm. So the Tucker Trimmer one in whole and half inch increments for smaller sizes. The Tucker Trimmer three is the same increments, whole and half inch around the edge, but it does from the teeny tiny one inch all the way up to twelve and a half or thirteen inches. So that's a and very it, versatile yeah, one. Yeah, lots of blocks are easily lots that of blocks. Size. Yes, mm -hmm. and that works with anything that you want to trim down those. And then sometimes there's an in-between size, kind of in, in between the whole and the half. You've got quarter and three quarters. Not as commonly used, but that's the Tucker Trimmer 2. And um, it works on the same premise, great lines for marking. The, you can see that there are lovely thin lines, lots of diagonals. That's the biggest thing about the Tucker Trimmer, is that you've got diagonals going both directions. Mm. And Deb Tucker has amazing videos on her website for each and every one of the rulers that she's created, yeah. as well as each and every one of the technique sheets that she's created, and not just the Lemoyne stars, but everything. Studio 180. She's done yeah, a, a video thorough. for yeah. all of her rulers and all of her technique sheets that you can go to and see the person who created them do the very best demonstrations of them. So there's a couple of other very common ones that you've got over there. The wing clipper. I'm sure that's got to be the <laughs> number one most used. Ruler. Probably. I think so. Yeah. How many of us used to struggle with making flying geese components? <laughs> Not with this. Right? <laughs> Perfect every time, right? Because the whole premise of slightly oversizing, trimming where you've got the seams in the key spots. They're coming right out to the corner of your block. Yeah. So when it needs to line up with something else, that seam is in the right spot. You don't lose your quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, and goose's nose it's to be yeah, <laughs> yeah all of that perfect. good stuff it takes a lot of the frustration out of quilting <laughs> most definitely yeah. and there's only a little bit that you're trimming away there's not very much that's trimming mm -hmm. down but it's uh, fussing just a little bit to get everything where it needs yeah. to be and then you zip 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 and there are 11 different sizes i believe on that ruler right from the mm -hmm. smallest half inch by one inch finished flying geese up to <laughs> five by 10 and half inch increments in between. So um, lots of great product, great sizes for any kind of pattern. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. How many quilts do you see that don't have a flying goose block? And they're not always flying <laughs> geese. They're star points, they're mm -hmm. um, chevron shapes. There's so many different kinds of things that they're a little camouflaged sometimes. Yeah, So, <laughs> and you help show people where to find them. <laughs> Too. I do, I do. I really um, like to do that. And one that's near and dear to Marilyn's heart yeah, now. This has become my favorite lately. It's the square squared ruler and it's to help you make economy blocks. And I got a little carried away. I started making uh, Christmas decorations and you can see some of them on the tree behind us. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've made like probably 200 of them and there will be a demo video on how to make those and Tammy will put a link in this video to that so you can watch that if you like. And to make them I use the, this technique sheet that goes with the stack square ruler, or the square squared ruler, which is called stack squares. 
Remember, we were talking about how there's a chart with all of them. So you can make them all the way from one inch to 12 inch if you've got the large set of square squared rulers, but you can do the one inch to six inch size mm -hmm. from the top half of the chart in all those different sizes and do multiple styles oh, of so many varieties. economy blocks and snail yeah. trail blocks. and. It's really cool. It's all in where you position the fabric and yeah. <laughs> and it's the same premise. Everything is slightly oversized mm -hmm. so that you've got a little bit to trim and it puts all those triangles in the right spot. Yeah, they come out perfectly every time. I love, love making economy blocks in the stacked squares, etc. Mm -hmm. And square square tool is a go-to favorite for me as well. Heck, all of the Studio 180s are go-to favorites Don't make for her me. pick a favorite. <laughs> It's like picking a favorite child. Can't do it. But um, lots of them are um, amazing. They've been in our Block of the Month programs through Quilters Cupboard that I've been fortunate enough to be able to share with quilters through uh, selling kits in the store, helping people choose from their own fabrics mm -hmm. for the Block of the Month. Last year we did Luminous. You can still get a copy of the videos for that mm -hmm. if you're interested. That is a, a program that's still available. This year we are doing the Fair Isle Quilt written beautiful. by uh, Deb Tucker of Studio 180. So no tuckerizing required. And we've got a little sample of the fabrics here for the newest kit that we've pulled together for this. Yeah, gorgeous. They are fabrics from Laundry Basket Quilt. It did a sitar designed her very traditional that what she's known for is blues and creams. Mm -hmm. And these are just gorgeous fabrics that we've pulled together into a kit to make this pattern, but in cottons and a different kind of colorway. And Tammy Baker, who works with us here at Quilters Cupboard, is making this quilt now. And we've got some samples of her pieces to just give you a little bit of a taste. So when we were extolling the virtues of the wing clipper, look at this amazing row of flying geese blocks. And they are so beautifully done. So beautifully done. The colors and the fabrics are amazing. And there's a few of them in the quilt, as you can see. It's designed like a medallion. So there's mm. a center uh, block, a real stunning one in the center. And then there's rounds and rounds of border uh, pieced components that go around beyond. And flying geese are a couple of them. Mm -hmm. And you gotta know there's some Lemoyne stars in there. They're gorgeous. So the blues and a really pretty sagey green. And it's just, the, the steps are so amazing and so well done between the pattern and her ruler instructions. There are amazing uh, ways of helping you walk through the various steps of what you're doing. And I also have done a virtual program for this as well. And anybody who's picked up one of these kits is just starting on it. So uh, block number one is just coming out very soon and you can still tuck into the program. If you want one of the kits, obviously, then your blocks are going to look like these. They're going to be amazing. And you can have me helping walk through each and every month the steps that we're doing, but you also still have time to sign up for the program with your own fabrics as well if you want to do that. Um, it's available for anybody at any time to get started on. But then when you see the center block for Beautiful. this quilt in these fabrics. You really get a feel for um, how gorgeous the fabrics mm. are. It looks very different from my batik version that was done just like what the pattern mm -hmm. is done in. But and stunning. It's, mm -hmm. This is the Blazing Lemoyne. This is the one that I said can go up to 24 inches. That's not how big this one is at the moment, but you can get a feel for it can grow even bigger mm -hmm. than that. Beautiful. And it's a very fancy block and beautifully done. Miss Tammy, we're all very impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's half of another one. Yeah, there's a part in the, in the quilt where you're doing some half blocks that are framing around the center. Right, so that would be the half. So some of these blocks are using all the different fabrics to get you an idea of what they're going to look like. And one more oh, round. And I recognize another Studio 180 component there, the corner beam. Yes. Yep. 
that's on either end and then some more half Lemoines. So the Lemoine star ruler is most definitely one that really comes into play in this block of the month, but you also use the wing clipper and the square squared and the corner beam and the tucker trimmer. So lots of people have those from other projects that they've done or classes they've done with me or perhaps from the block of the month that we did last year. Right. And maybe just one or two new ones to add to your toolbox. Mm -hmm. Great way <laughs> to use the ones you have and add some new. Most definitely. Yep. Get an idea of uh, just how versatile they are for so many different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned on the Studio 180 website, there are videos for all of the tools to see them in use. I also have had a lot of fun over the past year doing a series of videos for Quilters Cupboard yes. called the But Wait, There's More mm -hmm. series. Showing you all, all the exciting things you can do with all these rulers. They're ex great too. Expanding a little bit more on mm -hmm. them as well. So certainly the basic cutting instructions, but also how much more, how many other different kinds of patterns. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm all about is how many more things you can do with them mm -hmm. and converting some new people swinging them yeah. to the dark side one by it, one she's getting everybody into it that's yeah. right it didn't take too much darn twisting no, did it Marilyn? definitely not no. and you did your lemoines a long time ago yeah i started doing those quite a while ago yeah. and then it's just in the past year i've gotten into the well i wanted to make these ornaments <laughs> and so i messaged leanne and i said I bet there's a ruler that will help me make these, isn't there? And she says, yes, what you want is this ruler and, and this technique sheet. And she was right. And there she went. She's gone and made over 200 of them, you said. Mm -hmm. Way over 200, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I lost count. <laughs> I think that means it's working for her, folks. I guess, yeah. Uh -huh. So I think that's everything. Do we get everything for today? I think we've covered everything that we are uh, focusing on today. On the table. Everything that's on special for yep. this day of reindeer games. Be sure and look through all the stuff that's listed. Check everything on the links, etc. And also make sure that you um, tuck into your cart what you want today. Because my understanding is that as per usual, it's offered on these special prices for today's date. Right and make sure that you get that into your online cart and then everything will be ready at the end of reindeer games mm -hmm. yes. a little while after that yeah. but we've had great fun today haven't yes, we yes we have sharing all of this and we've been relatively well behaved yeah relatively yeah. <laughs> No, but it's nobody oh, thought it was possible but we yeah it. yeah <laughs> uh great fun to see everybody as you come in for reindeer games thanks for your support all throughout the year of quilters cupboard and Absolutely. everything that we do and certainly we wish everyone a very merry christmas with your family and friends and take good care merry christmas thanks merry christmas <laughs>